Hey guys, Chandler here, back to my channel, Alternate Journey, and if you guys know me, uh, you guys know that I love tattoos, like I'm addicted to tattoos, I want to be covered in tattoos one day, unfortunately I don't have that much, I only have one tattoo, uh, because I'm saving up for top surgery and stuff, I love tattoos so much, you know how people just like scroll through their phone for hours on TikTok and shit, no, for me, I'm literally scrolling through my phone the entire day, just looking at tattoos, like, tattoos on Instagram pages, freaking on Pinterest, and I'm not talking about, like, basic Pinterest tattoos scrolling for hours. No, like, there's actual, like, really creative shit on there, and it's just like, yeah. I know I'm an old man, no one really uses Pinterest anymore, except for, like, moms coming up with, like, party recipes and, like, home decor, right? I don't know. <laughs> but, hey, there's some decent, really awesome art on Pinterest, just saying. But anyways, um, today I'm making this video because the last tattoo reaction was, like, what? couple months ago and you guys seem to really enjoy it. But today I'm going to be reacting to this Instagram page that I recently found called Trans Scar Tattoos. So basically this is an account for sharing trans surgery scar cover up or scar incorporating uh, tattoos. All trans folks are welcome and you can DM them for it to be featured. This page was literally created December 13th of 2020 so it's like very recent, very new. So yeah definitely go give them a follow. It's a really small page but it's like I wanted to react to this page because like I've never seen a page like this where they just show uh, top surgery cover-ups obviously it's from more different surgeries but right now the that is the main focus that's what everyone's been sending in personally I just I've always wanted a chest piece and it's just like yeah it's really interesting to see how the scar is gonna look depending on like the tattoo you kind of wanted and like how the tattoo is gonna work and it's just really awesome to like just I love just looking at tattoos but that's the, that's the excuse so yeah let's just start so the first one Oh, sorry, so this is the admin, actually, for the page. Um, his name is Jay, and he is a trans man. All in the trans community are welcome to post whether the scars are from top surgery, phalloplasty, breast implants, or any other gender-affirming pr procedure. I really like that, because, like, you see a lot of pages where it's just like, no, this is just for trans, trans men, this is just for this type of surgery, and it's just like, just show all and everything. I expect that most of the tattoos on this blog will be trans masculine for top surgery focus, but please submit any other relevant uh, by message if you'd like to be featured. Yeah, probably because like it's just, there's just more trans men on social media and stuff like that, and it's just like we're mostly known for getting tattoo cover ups and for surgery scars. I really like this though. The scar almost looks like the ground, you know what I mean? Like to add depth to the mountains and stuff like that. That's really cool. And I believe the date up there is when he started to start his drone, which is really cool as well. This is vibrant as hell. What the fuck? A three-eyed bird with a lantern. This is so cool. I wonder how that's going to age, though, with all the colors. It's going to be faded as shit. But, like, it's not too... It's like detail, but it's like the perfect amount of detail where it's like when it ages, it's still gonna look really, really good. You know what I mean? Because if you get so many details in a tattoo, when it starts to age and everything like that, the lines start to like bleed together and it's like you can't kind of see like what exactly it is and stuff. So this is like kind of perfect. I feel like this is gonna age well and stuff. If anything, he's just gonna have to get it like redone if like he wants that vibrant color and stuff like that. So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> That's really awesome, though. I don't know, like, if, for me personally, like, if I'm going to get a cover-up, I'm not going to just do one side of my chest. Like, I'm just going to do the whole chest because it's like, why would I cover up one scar and then have the other one? But then again, a lot of these are just, like, they're not intentionally trying to cover up their scars and stuff like that. They've just always wanted tattoos. Like, me personally, I've always just wanted tattoos. So it's just, like, some of them are just going to happen to cover up my scars. You know what I mean? So maybe that's the case. But I really like that. That's really awesome. That's like perfect. That's like perfect for covering up the scars. I love quotes right here and then something underneath it. Um, personally, yeah, I'm going to have like a quote right here and like the chest piece is going to be right here. It's just, I don't want to explain it too much and everything because I don't want someone to steal my idea. But like basically my chest piece is going to be um, a reference to like Slaughterhouse-Five. Um, if you've never read that book, oh, it's so good. It's been like, it's banned in high schools now. I was like the last class to read it. Then again, my whole class didn't read it. It was like a special group of honor seminar, whatever it was called, that I did. And it's just like, it was such a good book. And it's just, yeah. So like, I'm going to have like a reference piece of that. And then my abdomen, I'm going to have like a kind of like a Harry Potter kind of tattoo thing. So, yeah. That's really cool though. And I don't even think, 
I believe he lost his nipples, because I can't actually see his nipples. Not saying, like, I'm looking for his nipples, but, like, I just noticed that. And that's really cool, too, because, like, some people, they choose not have their nipples sewn back on or anything like that, probably because, like, they just feel a disconnect with the nipples and everything like that. Maybe it's, like, such an extreme feminine aspect, because, like, you know that whole joke, like, why do men have nipples? So it's just, like, yeah, like, if you don't have a connection with your nipples, you don't have to get them sewn back on. There's actually, I've seen a big increase, mainly non-binary individuals, um, not having any nipples, just getting top surgery, just having the two scars, no nipples, and it's just like, it does look good. This is a really good idea for people that, um, lost their nipples, because sometimes you do lose your nipples, um, if you do not do the steps correctly of, like, recovery and stuff like that, um, especially, like, if you get double incision where they actually just cut out your nipple, resize it, and then place it back on and stuff, um, there's risk of infection and stuff like that, so it's like, that's why you gotta really pay attention to what your surgeon says, and everything. They usually like tell the person that's going to take care of you as well or they send you home with notes and stuff like that because obviously you're not going to remember everything when you wake up from surgery and stuff depending on like how you react to like the anesthesia. It's a rare occasion that I've seen people actually talk about how they lost their nipples or like one of them just like got infected and stuff like that so now they only got one nipple so but it's very rare. Um, just ask your surgeons uh, their stats of how many um, patients that happens to for them. Oh! That's pretty cool. It's a good idea. To me, it could have been done a little bit better. I'm very picky with my tattoos, but it's good art. Just to me, the proportions, does, maybe because he's stretching out, it looks a little weird to me. Like he's trying to flex his body right now. I'm not an idiot, I can see. <laughs> so maybe that's why it looks a little off to me. But otherwise, yeah, still freaking good. Perfect placement to cover the scars and shit. It's just, especially since like you have like the red toned of, a, of the phoenix and stuff like that. Everyone heals differently, and some people would just always have that, like, slightly red-toned scar, so it's like, that's perfect for the color of that, you know what I mean? So that was really, that was a smart idea. That looks so cool. That's like old-fashioned classic tattoo work right there, you know what I mean? His, his scars look straight as hell, his nipples look perfect, that's like perfect-ass result, and then that's an awesome tattoo as well. I used to not like, like, old-fashioned, cartoony kind of tattoo looks, but it's like, I, like, as I've grown older, like, I really actually do appreciate them, and they look so freaking good, and it's just like, they age so well. I think that's what the other thing is, too. Like, my first tattoo is, like, a cartoon fish and stuff like that with the colors of the Grateful Dead, because above that, I'm gonna have, um, my, my uh, Grateful Dead theme tattoo and stuff. Yes, my first tattoo, like, there wasn't that much thought. It was a flash tattoo weekend thing, but you know what? My body was craving the needle, so I just needed a tattoo. That must have took forever. That looks cool. I couldn't even tell that he had top surgery, you know what I mean? Like, I can't even see any scars at all. I think it just, like, healed so well. Oh, that's an interesting choice. I like line work tattoos, um, but I've never seen anyone just get their scar literally tattooed. I don't think I would ever do this. No, I know I would never do this, because, like, I just, it's, like, it's such a hard topic to talk about, because, like, I understand, like, everyone has different levels of dysphoria and stuff like that, and you know what, if they like this, that's awesome for them, and everything like that. They're extremely proud that they got top surgery, they don't mind the scar, obviously, in fact, like, it was such an iconic, important moment in their life that they're like, you know what, why not enhance this and tattoo it, and that's freaking awesome, that's a bold choice, and, like, you know what, they look awesome, so, yeah, I really like it a lot. Because it matches the other tattoos as well. So, they look good. And that was perfect freaking top surgery, too. Perfect. Like, if those ta if those lines were the actual scars, which it kind of looks like it, that's awesome. Perfect line work. Amazing surgeon. But to me, personally, like, I would never enhance any of my surgery scars. Um, I'm very about, like, trying to make them fade and everything like that look as natural as possible, whatever that fucking means and stuff, you know what I mean? And it's just like, yeah. I think because it just draws more attention to the surgery scars, and it's like, yes, I'm on YouTube, and I'm gonna, like, share my surgery experience and everything like that, but it's like, when I'm out in public and everything, just, like, at the beach, like, my shirt off, I don't want people to, like, stare too intensely at me and stuff like that, because it's just, like, some people are just really weird about certain things that they just aren't educated on, and it's just like, it makes them uncomfortable, and then it makes everyone else uncomfortable, because they're just saying ignorant things, or like, it stares and stuff, it's just like, it's very weird, so it's just like, yeah, but that's just my own personal experience, and things that, for my life, so it's just like, 
if you have an idea for, like, tattoos and stuff like that, just do it, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to do what they did, do it. Like, if, if as long as you're comfortable in your own skin, then do it. Like, that's fine. Who cares what everyone else thinks? That's what it's all about. That's what all surgeries are about. That's what all tat like, anything that you do to your body, it's supposed to make you feel at home with your body. It's supposed to be meant for you to feel comfortable with your body. So it's like, whatever you do to it, that's your choice. You're the one that has to live with it and stuff like that. So it's like, do it. I've seen like a couple of these. It's like you turn your scars into like a garden situation because it's like, it looks like kind of like the dirt. That's really cool. I like that a lot. It's like simple, but like really like, it's like, it gives off like simple, elegant kind of vibes. Does that make sense? Yes, your classic barbed wire type situation thing, or like tribal, I don't know. It's kind of like barbed wire. That's interesting, yeah, I like that. That's like your classic thing to do and everything. And last one. Oh wow. It's kind of hard to see the exact detail since like the coloring, the filter and stuff like that. But like, that perfectly covers their scars. This is an awesome piece. Damn, they're like covered. I love this. You can tell this is like the type of person that was just going to be covered up. They really planned this out because it really just all goes. I like people that do that. They actually like plan out. It's not just like random tattoos. Although, some people they pull it off. You know what I mean? Like the random sleeve and it's just like random bunch of tattoos and stuff like that. Those are some nice tattoos. I can't wait to see more that this page posts. Definitely go follow them. I will link their Instagram down below. Uh, their handle. Definitely search them up. Follow them. Um, DM them your tattoos and stuff like that. Remember, it's not just top surgery tattoos. Any types of uh, trans surgeries, uh, scar cover-ups, they will post and stuff like that. As long as it's like probably not too revealing and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah. Oh, and they have merch. I like that merch. Oh, it's like their tattoo and everything. So yeah, go t check out their merch. Definitely check it out. Definitely go follow him and stuff, and yeah, I will link that down below. Hope you guys like this video. I, like, I like looking at these tattoos and stuff because it's like, it gives you ideas for tattoos a little bit. Don't ever copycat actual tattoos, obviously. Like, put your own effort into it, and like, your own twist, and definitely give a little freedom to the artist as well. After all, they are the artists and stuff like that. It is their work as much as it is your work and stuff. I like looking at these tattoos because it makes me feel less worried about how my top surgery is actually going to turn out. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I want it to be flat, but it's like, I mean, like, the scars. Because, like, that's why it's been, like, I've been, like, back and forth with a couple surgeons for Bo in Boston. It's because, like, it's about the scars for me. Like, I want the scars to be straight and stuff. But, like, now that I'm thinking about it, like, I'm going to be getting... My whole chest tattooed and everything like that. Yes, that's going to cost money, but it's like, you can't get, like, it's recommended not to get the tattoos over your scars until after, like, two years post-op and stuff like that. So it's like, within those two years, I'll be saving up money. So it's like, yes, I'll be having two years with those scars if they do turn out a little crooked or whatever. But it's like, in the end, they're going to be covered up. So, like, it doesn't really matter. As long as, like, my chest is flat and my, my nipples are positioned in a good freaking masculine way that I like then, you know, it doesn't really matter too much about the scars. So it's like, that's why I'm kind of learning through this and everything. And it's just like, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Comment down below your thoughts about um, scar tattoo cover up. Yeah, and definitely comment down below if you guys want me to do more of uh, these types of videos. And um, yeah, maybe next time I'll react to uh, phalloplastic tattoo cover ups. Because literally, I don't know if you guys know this, there's two different types of main um, bottom surgeries and stuff. Phalloplasty is like kind of like the main one that a lot of people talk about. But, probably because it's like the most involved surgery type one. But they literally take a graph of your forearm, like the whole thing around, like this big. That's literally going to be your dick. Like that. And they take skin, like a whole chunk of skin from your thigh as well to put back on the arm for that to heal. And stuff like that. And it's just like, it's a process. It's a long ass process. And, yeah. So it's like a lot of people get their forearm all tattooed up. That's why I'm not tattooing this arm yet. Until... I decide what I'm going to do with that later down the road. So, yeah. Anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Look at the statistics. If you find yourself watching multiple of my videos, might as well subscribe, right? And definitely ring that bell down below so you get notifications whenever I upload a video. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.